Paco uh, Adamar is a, is a pastor in Chicago. He's on the west side of Chicago in a place called Little Village. Little Village is an area that's just rampant with gang warfare. And Paco was asked to do, lead a prayer vigil for a young man who was gunned down by a rival gang. And he felt a little nervous when he came out to the street where everyone had gathered. He said, because a lot of gang members around there, these are hardened individuals. But as he looked at them, Paco realized, he said, these are their kids. They're teenagers. And at the most, they're in their 20s. He said, I'm twice their age. And he, he said, I felt inadequate. And he prayed, Lord Jesus, what would you say to these kids? What would you say to them? He said, as he, as he stepped into the circle, he asked permission for this group. He said, before I pray, he said, may I just speak from my heart? They gave him permission. And this, he said, this, these are the words that came to him. He said, I realize that many people have told you that this gang warfare and, and this violence and back and forth is nonsense. I've realized that people have told you a lot of what you're doing is wrong. He said, I'm not here to tell you that. He said, but what I would like to do, he says, because I'm twice the age of you guys. I'm old enough to be your father. And I'd like to tell you something that should have been told you a long time ago. So if you would allow me to, he said, allow me to speak on behalf of your fathers. And it got quiet and he looked at him and he said, my son, my daughter, please forgive me for not being there when you needed me. Please forgive me for not being there to watch you take your first steps. Please forgive me for not being there to play catch with you when you were growing up. Please forgive me for leaving you when you needed me the most. Paco said as he was sharing this with them, he said the tears just began to flow freely. And much to his surprise, as he looked around that group, of these hardened kids, these gang members, they began to weep with him. He said it was after that he had a special bond with them. He had had no credibility in their world. But now that gave him some credibility. He said, I, I've never shared their experience, but I've shared their pain. I think about our Heavenly Father who sent his son, not just to share our pain, but to share our experience, to go through what we go through. So he could be not just a distant God, but a God who's with us, who could be a very compassionate God. 